This is the story of a book, the Book of the Stars, the catalogue of the ESA mission Gaia. Well, actually, it looks more like this. The catalogue contains 1.8 billion stars. It records their velocity, distance, motion and precise position in space and physical properties like colour and brightness. The stars are observed by the European Gaia satellite. Since 2014, Gaia has been following the Earth around the Sun, its back turned to both of them as it surveys the universe. It's also rotating on itself. Gaia scans the whole sky in six months, then starts again. Each star is observed on average 70 times in five years. That kind of frequency means each one can be precisely identified. Almost nothing escapes Gaia's gaze. With its two ultra-sophisticated telescopes and the sensors of its three instruments totaling 940 million pixels, 80 times more than the latest smartphones. The Gaia catalogue describes 1.8 billion stars, but also exoplanets, galaxies and quasars. It's a mine of information. Since 2018, scientists all over the world have published more than 5,000 research papers based on Gaia's data. And, no, no, hold on, there's another important chapter to come. A really big chapter, in fact. The Gaia mission is much more than the satellite. It's also what's called the ground segment, made up of the control centre and six other centres in charge of the sequence of processes that get us from this to this. Every day, Gaia makes more than 600 million measurements. That's 50 gigabytes received and decompressed at the European Space Agency's processing centre in Madrid. That raw computer data then has to be turned into several terabytes of science data. For each data point, a scientific formula, an algorithm, has to be developed to make it readable for end users and to arrive at an overall formula. So that this becomes this for each of the 1.8 billion stars. This is the result of 15 years of astronomy expertise and a prodigious coding effort. The work was shared between 430 scientists and engineers from 24 countries, mostly in Europe, each developing a part of the formula in a specific field. For example, the French work mainly on algorithms for the radial velocity of the stars and for physical properties like mass, temperature and chemical composition, but also for properties linked to small solar system bodies, extragalactic objects and so-called multiple stars. Nearly 40% of the code for the overall formula is written in France. And that's not all. Because all of these algorithms are tested and validated at small and large scale. This is one of the roles of the CNES, which assembles and checks each line of code on production lines, devouring huge quantities of data. Here, at the CNES's field centre in Toulouse, 25 engineers are in constant contact with around 100 European scientists. Helping them to conceive, develop, correct and validate the proposed algorithms. Then, once everything's ready, it's the CNES's job to make sure the systems run smoothly. This all happens underground, in the basements of the CNES. Here, 6,000 processing cores and 350 servers handle all Gaia's measurements. And they're definitely necessary. It would have taken a single computer more than 460 years to perform these, well, astronomical calculations. The systems are under the close watch of experts who regularly renew and maintain the machines. They deal with one failure per day. And now, after more than three years' work, the third release of the Gaia catalogue, enriched with data from all the centres, is ready. But Gaia's mission is far from over. There are still years of accumulated data for scientists to sift through. And when you think about it, two billion is barely 1% of all the stars in our galaxy. So we still have many more blank pages to fill all together. So where can I order this catalogue? 
Oh, it's not the kind of book you leaf through. Imagine the size. But you can find it online here.